thank you for sitting down. We do this again yep. at the Grey Cup, although things are different. Life is much different than it was in 2019. When you think of the path it took for you personally and the team more broadly to get here, is there one word you would describe what this journey has been like? The one word that really has stuck out and resonated with me since training camp, you know, probably isn't a word to use to describe the path to here, but just more so big picture overall, look at everything. And, and Mike O'Shea said it in front of our team before training camp started, it was, you know, gratitude and finding things to be, you know, grateful for and thankful for. And, you know, the COVID rules and the hoops that we had to jump through to even play a season, to even have in training camp, you can find reasons to complain, but to really just be grateful that we're, we're given the opportunity to play the game and to provide for our family this season. So that's something that's been in the back of all of our minds, you know, since uh, he brought that up. And I think that's something that's been really powerful for our room. If I had one word to describe you uh, and watching you play and kind of handle yourself this week, it would be comfortable. Comfortable in the offense, comfortable in your place in the league, in the organization. Uh, is that a fair assessment of how you kind of feel right now in your career? I think so. I think um, obviously, like you said, at 19, I was scrambling, you know, to kind of to learn everything, you know, even during this week. But um, you know, the organization has just been unbelievable in, in giving us as a team everything that we need to to be able to prepare at the level that we need to prepare for. And I think on a personal level, you know, just getting to know my teammates more and more during the pandemic, you know, even though it's just mostly text threads. Um, and then obviously uh, in training camp and, and throughout the season, it's just been been unbelievable for all of us. And, you know, I, I think great teams uh, are comprised of, of great people and great relationships. That bond, um, I think it goes a long way on the field. I remember when you first started in the league, and I remember thinking, who is that that Jim Barker has been hiding? Uh, <laughs> right, I remember, you know, so athletic and thinking if someone blitzes, you better get home or he might pull it and, and make a big play. Is that a, a transformation in terms of you where young quarterbacks, you know, often they fear being blitzed, where veteran, I'm not gonna say old, veteran quarterbacks, uh, they actually look forward to, to being blitzed? I, I think the, the first part of your question is just, I didn't know what I was doing. This game is radically different from, from the college game in the U.S., so just, uh, I think really relying on athleticism, you know, to kind of get me by there for, you know, the first part of my career. You know, when I got to Hamilton, I was coached really well there. You know, Tommy Condell, who's still their offensive coordinator. The way that I look at the game, I really learned through through him and, and his eyes uh, and how to prepare for the different blitz looks and coverages. And, you know, you always find a tr try to find those little wrinkles in a defense. And, you know, maybe it might happen one or two times a game, but if you can take advantage of it, it's, it's a big thing. Something you're less comfortable about talking about yourself and your own accolades, but a lot of people are talking about the year you've had. And does it, for you, feel like uh, an affirmation of all of the hard work you've put in to get in that conversation, even though I know that wasn't individually the goal? I think any individual award, I think, you know, Biggie would say the same thing and Stanley too. You know, we don't get this type of praise without the entire unit, uh, the entire organization. The quarterback gets a lot of the praise when things are going really well. and. A lot of the blame when they're not going well. I wouldn't be sitting here, you know, being asked a question like this by you if it wasn't for uh, our, our offensive line, our running backs, our receivers. I, I've never been in a locker room where you're just around so many people that take this profession seriously and want to be great. I've told a lot of a lot of the guys in the locker room, you know, behind the scenes, like, hey, like I'm honored to be your teammate, and you know, I tried to work harder, you know, for the example that you set. You had some great years obviously in this town you know how cool is it for you to see this town get to celebrate the great cup yeah i think it's, it's awesome um i feel like the like the old guy in the room you know even where we're, where we're staying it's like oh yeah we can go here and we can go here and i know all the little spots and uh you know pulling in the stadium yesterday you know definitely brought back some some good memories um spent a lot of time obviously you know at work there we haven't even really been able to interact with any of the fans yet. So it's gonna be really special, I think, uh, obviously on Sunday. I know Great Cup Week's a big party, so I'm sure there's uh, a lot of fans from all over the country, you know, coming in to see what Hamilton has to offer. And I think it's really special for the community. Well, um, certainly the community is hoping the other guys win, uh, but the way that you've handled yourself, certainly the there's gonna be a lot of people cheering for you personally uh, from this community. So enjoy the week and enjoy the game. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for, thanks for doing this again.